remind you of that. Based on majority votes, allowing for oppositions to develop, which will, in a way, play the role that is often imputed to competition, namely the contestation of ideas rather than the contestation that takes place in the marketplace over possessions. Possessions can now be administered as merely a practical matter. Supplying the needs of communities becomes a purely practical matter based on morality or ethics of from each according to his or her ability and to each according to his or her needs. I would also say that one would have to municipalize property. You see, we have three great alternatives historically that have been presented to us. One is private property, corporate property, but private property, namely the property of corporations, multi-global, multinational, call it whatever you like, uh, but still, multinational is the most appropriate word, uh, but still private property, ownership. That's been one, as it were, quotes, paradigm, a word I dislike, I may add. Another one has been nationalized property, giving it to the state. And we know the consequences of that after the collapse of the uh, Berlin Wall. <laughs> Alternatively, we can have municipalized property, namely that the economy, a local economy, is run by its, uh, its own popular assembly. But in a confederal situation, an interlinkage of municipal property into what amounts to confederal property. Do you follow what I'm trying to say here? In other words, no one community would be possessive of the land that it has at the expense of another community. Uh, no community would be possessive of the industrial facilities it has at the expense of another community. Confederal councils would help work out how to best cooperatively utilize municipal control. Now, I think this is very important for one reason. The idea, the old syndicalist idea of workers' control of industry very frequently leads to the workers in a particular enterprise acting as a group of collective capitalists. I would prefer citizens' control of the facilities and the land that exists in a particular community or a region. In this way, the fact that I would be for arguments like a printer would not become a special interest in which I'm out to defend printers as against everyone else and my factory or my printing plant as against all other printers. So I would come to a municipal assembly divested of my occupational standing, thinking as a citizen, for the community as a whole, not as a printer for my own enterprise. Workers' control of industry has, in many cases, become little more than a form of collective capitalist control of a specific enterprise. And the workers behave as collective capitalists and start thinking in terms of making profit and so on and so forth, at the expense, as a matter of fact, of other enterprises in their own community. And that would be, in my opinion, just another form of corporate or entrepreneurial or capitalist enterprise and reproduce again, recreate again, all the problems that the marketplace has produced in our society. Maddening competition, grow or die, dog eat dog, and to hell with everyone else, make as much profit as possible and do it at the expense not only of other people, and at the expense of labor generally, but at the expense of the entire ecosystem, which is producing the great ecological crises, you know, that we are confronted with tonight.